Do you find that your computer's performance greatly degrades when you try to multitask with it? If so, you might have the opportunity to greatly improve your computer's performance for less than $50. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to walk you through a personal situation that I had with my laptop and how I was able to greatly improve its performance by upgrading the RAM of the device. What I experienced with my laptop is that when I was editing and processing YouTube videos, like the one you're watching right now, my computer's performance would slow to a crawl. I couldn't really have any other applications open and just the performance of the computer overall was super slow. A really important distinction to make here is that there could be a number of reasons why your computer is performing slowly. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can determine if a RAM upgrade is exactly what your computer needs or not. So what I noticed during the processing of these YouTube videos is that the memory utilization of my computer jumped to above 80 something percent. What this basically means is the computer didn't have enough brain power to process and perform what I was asking it to do. So the question is, how do you go about determining if you have high memory utilization? So let me show you how to do that now. So here we are on my laptop. If you wanna find out the memory utilization of your computer at any given time, all you need to do is you need to access the task manager. So let me jump in here, under here in the search bar, we can search task manager. Let's get that opened up and here we are. Here you can see right now as I'm processing this video, 87% of memory is being utilized by my computer. So the answer and the easiest way to go about resolving that issue is simply by giving it more memory. If you want to take a closer look and see exactly what you currently have installed with your laptop, you can go over here to the performance tab. So let's click that. And here we go. Here are some options. If you go ahead and select memory and it breaks it down right here in use 6.6 .6 gigabytes available 1.3 gigabytes. It basically says that I have eight total gigabytes of Ram and I'm using most of it. So this is the easiest way to confirm if an upgrade to your computer's RAM would improve the performance of the device. The next question I needed to answer here when it came to my laptop is if it was actually built with enough capacity to have an additional RAM stick installed in it. Your computer needs to have a slot open for you to slide that RAM in in order for you to upgrade your system's memory. Rest assured here, as a lot of laptops come with an additional memory slot that you can install memory into, but this is something you should confirm before you go and make any purchases. So jumping back to my computer here, what I needed to do is I needed to look up the technical specifications of my specific laptop to see if it has the ability to add RAM to it. So I have a Dell Inspiron 3580, I found that out, what you can do is you can open here in the bottom about your PC. As you can see here, it says Inspiron 3580. Alternatively, what you can do is there'll be a sticker on your laptop that details the make and model of your device. You can take that information, put it into an internet browser and just search for the technical specifications of the device. Okay, so here's exactly what I did. I looked up my Dell Inspiron 3580. I looked at the technical specifications of my laptop. I went down to the memory section. Here it says maximum memory, 16 gigabytes. If you'll recall, I currently have eight gigabytes of memory installed on my laptop. So this means I can install eight gigabytes more. Okay, now that I've confirmed that I can add RAM to my laptop, I went ahead, I looked at the specifications of my laptop again, and specifically the RAM specifications for that device. I ordered the RAM stick. Here we are right here. So let's go about installing that into my laptop. The first thing we need to do, we need to ensure this device is powered off. The next thing we need to do is there will be a bunch of screws on the bottom of the laptop that holds this plate on here. So we wanna remove all these. I have a special screwdriver that I use for this activity. I will link to that down below so you have everything you need if you're looking to upgrade the RAM of your computer. 
but let's go ahead, let's take all the screws out from the bottom of this plate here. The other thing to keep in mind here before we start is you'll want to keep track of what screws go into what holes. And that's simply because there are different sized screws for different holes here on this panel. Okay, now that we have all the screws removed, what we can do is we can slide out this disk drive tray here. This should come right out. And as you can see here, there are two additional screws that you can take out after the drive's been removed. So let's take these out now. Okay, once those screws have been removed, you can take this plate off of the back of your laptop so let's go ahead, let's gently pry that away now. All right, once you get it started, you may have to flip your laptop right side up to get it started, but once you get it started, it will slowly just pry off here. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Another thing I should mention is that static electricity can fry your motherboard I advise that you make sure that there's no static on you, make sure that you're grounded. There's also these straps that you can get to help ground you. I'll link to one down below. For a minor procedure like this, I don't usually do it, so I'm gonna proceed without one. Okay, so here is our existing RAM stick. If you look at this other one that I bought, you can see it looks very similar. So all we need to do there's one RAM slot here, and there's another one here. So we basically just need to slide this RAM stick into this additional RAM slot. As you can see here, there's a little notch in the RAM stick. You wanna match it up. There's a notch on the actual motherboard itself. So you wanna match it up and then gently slide it in. There'll be a little click, and then you'll slowly push it down and there's another click to lock it in place. Now that we've done that, we just need to put the panel back on. All right, we've snapped this plate back in place here. So now what we wanna do is we're going in reverse order. We're gonna add the two screws here and then insert the disk drive back in. All right, we have the screws in. We're gonna put the disk drive back in. Okay, now we just install all the screws here on the bottom plate. All right, we have everything back in. We're gonna flip the system around. And let's turn it back on. All right, as you can see here, there's a warning message when we start up the system. It says alert, the amount of system memory has changed. This is a good thing. It means that it took the RAM stick that we installed. So it looks like we're in pretty good shape, but let's go ahead and continue and we'll confirm that. All right, so here we are again. Let's jump back to task manager. Okay, I'm recording as before, and do you notice anything different here? Look at the memory. That's a telling sign right there. We're not above 80%, we're at about 40%. But we can go over to the Performance tab to get a better look. In the Performance tab, as you can see here, memory, there's 9.7 gigabytes available, 6.1 gigabytes are being used. Here is proof that the eight gigabytes of RAM that we installed is being recognized and used by the device. With the upgraded RAM on my laptop, I'm now able to multitask. I'm able to do a lot more things that I wasn't able to do before when the memory was restricted by what I had installed. Again, you'll just wanna make sure that the RAM stick that you get is compatible with your computer and that your computer has the ability 
to upgrade the RAM. If you have any questions about this, please drop a comment below. If you liked this video or you found it useful in your personal situation, give it a like. And lastly, I would appreciate it if you came along for the ride and subscribed to the channel. I'm going to have plenty more content like this moving forward, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.